Everyone's heard the phrase whiplash or soft tissue injuries and, and tend to downplay those as being something that's not very significant. What I found in my practice is some of them in, in the normal course of, of uh, treatment will, will resolve after three months. That's a typical scenario. Some cases uh, have, have gone on for years and, and can eventually be, uh, I've seen clients from 20 years ago who still have problems today with the problems they had back when I represented them 20 years ago. Um, these problems are, are uh, aggravated sometimes by what they do for a living. Um, for example, we represented a cardiologist who had a soft tissue injury, didn't need surgery, uh, didn't, had, had uh, treated physical therapy uh, for years, and, but as she, when she worked as a cardiologist, she had to do heart catheterization surgeries. She had to wear a lead apron that was very heavy while she was doing the heart catheterization surgeries, so she had a back injury that kept aggravating, kept aggravating. Every time she would put the apron on, it was weight on her back that caused it to be aggravated. So it was a lifetime injury for her. And as a cardiologist, obviously it was devastating to her, to her practice, and it was obviously something that was um, going to impact. This cardiologist had had another lawyer represent her who told her her case wasn't, wasn't worth anything, that nobody was going to feel sorry for a cardiologist, and, and uh, so you know, she needed to settle her case for $200,000. Um, we took the case, we represented her, uh, we went to a trial and in a, with a verdict for $7.7 .7 million because what the other lawyer failed to realize was is that this impacted her day-to-day -day ability to do surgery. When, when you're a cardiologist and you can't do surgery anymore because you can't wear the lead aprons, it causes a problem with the income stream that she was entitled to. By going to medical school and becoming a cardiologist, she was entitled to have uh, the wages that a normal cardiologist would have. And she was unable to do that, so she was she had to, was forced to retire from doing uh, surgery. We were able to get a vocational expert to come in and look at what cardiologists make in the Baton Rouge area, and and uh, project that figure over the course of her lifetime. That's what a good attorney does.